Septimius Severus. Lucius Septimius Severus Augustus was a Roman emperor who ruled from 193 to 211 AD. He was born on April 11, 145 AD, in Leptis Magna, in present day Libya. Septimio Severus is known for his military campaigns, legal reforms, and efforts to stabilize the Roman Empire during a period of political and economic challenges. Septimio Severus, whose full name was Lucius Septimio Severus Augustus, was born on April 11, 145 AD, in Leptis Magna. Leptis Magna was a prominent city in the Roman province of Africa, located in present-day Libya. Severus was born into a prominent and well-connected family in Leptis Magna, which was situated on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. Leptis Magna, during Severus's time, was a flourishing Roman city known for its wealth, architectural splendor, and cultural achievements. The city's location in North Africa made it an important center for trade and commerce within the Roman Empire. Septimio Severus's birth in Leptis Magna marked the beginning of a life that would see him rise through the ranks of the Roman military and eventually become Emperor of Rome. His early experiences in North Africa likely influenced his later career and policies as he navigated the complex political landscape of the Roman Empire. Septimio Severus had a notable and complex love life, characterized by political marriages, familial conflicts, and the influence of powerful women. Severus had two prominent marriages during his lifetime. His first wife was Pacia Marciana, with whom he had two sons, Caracalla, later Emperor Caracalla, and Geta. After Marciana's death, Severus married Julia Domna. Julia Domna, a Syrian aristocrat, became Severus's second and more influential wife. Their marriage was arranged for political reasons, as Julia came from a prestigious family in the eastern provinces. Julia played a significant role in the politics of the Roman Empire and the Severan dynasty. Julia Domna was known for her intelligence and political acumen. She actively participated in the administration of the empire, engaging in diplomatic affairs and supporting her husband's policies. Julia was involved in the patronage of literature and philosophy, contributing to the intellectual atmosphere of the Severan court. The relationship between Severus's sons, Caracalla and Geta, was marked by intense rivalry and conflict. After Severus's death, Caracalla ordered the murder of his younger brother Geta in a bid to consolidate power. This event stained the family's legacy with violence and betrayal. Caracalla, upon becoming emperor after Severus's death, had a brief marriage to Fulvia Plotilla. However, the marriage was unhappy, and Caracalla exiled Plotilla, eventually ordering her execution. Septimio Severus died in 211 AD in Britain. His death marked the beginning of a tumultuous period, with his sons Caracalla and Geta initially ruling as co-emperors but ending in the assassination of Geta. While Septimio Severus's love life played a role in the dynamics of the imperial family, it was closely intertwined with political considerations and the challenges of governing the Roman Empire. The relationships within the Severan family had a lasting impact on the subsequent history of the Roman Empire. Septimius Severus had a distinguished military career before becoming emperor. He served in various capacities and participated in campaigns along the Danube and in the east. The emperor focused on strengthening the Roman military, increasing the pay of soldiers, and expanding the size of the legions. Septimius Severus implemented significant military reforms during his reign as Roman emperor, 193-211 AD. These reforms aimed to strengthen the Roman military, enhance its efficiency, and secure the loyalty of the legions. Here are key aspects of Septimius Severus's military reforms. Increased pay for soldiers. One of Severus's major reforms involved raising the pay of Roman soldiers. By increasing the wages of the military personnel, Severus aimed to foster loyalty and reduce the likelihood of disloyalty or rebellion among the legions. Strengthening the Praetorian Guard. The Praetorian Guard, an elite imperial bodyguard, played a crucial role in the stability of the Roman Empire. Severus took measures to strengthen and expand the Praetorian Guard, ensuring its allegiance to the emperor. 2. Expansion of the Legions Severus increased the size of the Roman legions, the core military units of the empire. By expanding the legions, he aimed to address military challenges on multiple fronts and reinforce the empire's defensive capabilities. 3. Fortifications and Defensive Measures Recognizing the importance of defending the Roman frontiers, Severus invested in fortifications and defensive measures along the empire's borders. 
This included reinforcing existing fortresses and constructing new defensive structures to deter external threats. 4. Strategic Deployments Severus strategically deployed legions in key provinces to maintain order and security. His military campaigns and defensive measures were designed to protect the empire from external threats, including invasions by hostile tribes. 5. Integration of Provincial Troops Severus sought to integrate provincial troops more closely into the Roman military structure. This move aimed to create a more unified and cohesive military force, fostering a sense of shared purpose among troops from different regions of the empire. 6. Campaigns in Britain and the East Severus conducted military campaigns in various regions, including Britain and the East. These campaigns were aimed at securing territorial gains, consolidating Roman control, and addressing potential sources of instability. Septimius Severus's military reforms were part of a broader effort to maintain stability within the Roman Empire during a time of internal strife and external threats. While his reign saw successes in military campaigns, the long-term impact of these reforms and the challenges faced by subsequent emperors underscored the complexities of governing the vast Roman Empire. In 193 AD, following the assassination of Emperor Pertinax, Septimio Severus emerged as a contender for the throne. He eventually secured the support of the Roman legions and became emperor. Septimio Severus faced rivals for the imperial throne, leading to a period of civil war known as the Year of the Five Emperors, 193-194 AD. He emerged victorious and consolidated his power. Parthian Campaigns Septimio Severus conducted successful military campaigns against the Parthian Empire in the east, securing territorial gains and capturing the city of Ctesiphon. Septimius Severus played a significant role in the Parthian campaign during his reign as Roman Emperor. The Parthian Empire, a powerful eastern neighbor of Rome, presented both opportunities and challenges for Roman emperors. Severus conducted military campaigns in the east, including against the Parthians, to secure territorial gains and strengthen the Roman position. Background and Motivations Severus became emperor in 193 AD, following the assassination of Emperor Pertinax. He faced rival claimants for the throne and sought to consolidate his power. The opportunity to conduct a successful military campaign could enhance his legitimacy and strengthen the loyalty of the legions. Eastern Frontiers The eastern frontiers of the Roman Empire were marked by the presence of the Parthians, and Severus aimed to secure and expand Roman influence in the region. His campaigns in the east were part of a broader strategy to address potential threats and assert Roman power. Capture of Tessaphon one of Severus's major achievements in the Parthian campaign was the capture of the Parthian capital, Ctesiphon, located on the eastern bank of the Tigris River. This victory in 198 AD marked a significant military success for Severus. Negotiations and Treaty Following the capture of Ctesiphon, Severus engaged in negotiations with the Parthians. The result was the signing of a peace treaty, known as the Peace of Nisibis, in 198 AD. The treaty secured favorable terms for Rome and established a period of relative stability in the East. Territorial Gains Severus's campaigns resulted in territorial gains for the Roman Empire in the eastern provinces. While he did not annex the entire Parthian Empire, Severus secured control over strategic regions and established Roman influence in the East. Administrative Reforms in the aftermath of the Parthian campaign, Severus implemented administrative reforms in the newly acquired territories. These reforms aimed at ensuring the efficient governance and integration of the conquered regions into the Roman administrative structure. 2. Stabilizing the Eastern Frontiers The success of Severus's Parthian campaign contributed to the stabilization of the eastern frontiers of the Roman Empire. The treaties and territorial gains provided a period of relative peace in the region during his reign. The Parthian campaign under Severus demonstrated his military prowess and strategic acumen. The successful outcomes of the campaign contributed to the overall stability of the Roman Empire during his rule. 2. Reforms in Governance Septimio Severus implemented legal reforms, including changes to the Roman legal system. He sought to strengthen the Roman economy and administration, addressing issues of corruption and inefficiency. Septimio Severus, Roman Emperor from 193 to 211 AD, implemented various reforms and governance measures during his rule to address challenges faced by the Roman Empire. Here are key aspects of his reforms and governance. Administrative Reforms 
Severus initiated administrative reforms to address corruption and inefficiencies in the Roman bureaucracy. He aimed to streamline the administration and improve the overall functioning of the imperial government. Legal Reforms Severus enacted legal reforms to address issues related to justice and the legal system. His reforms aimed to ensure fair and impartial administration of justice, as well as to maintain social order within the empire. Economic Policies Severus implemented economic policies to stabilize the Roman economy. This included measures to control inflation and manage state finances more effectively. Military Reorganization In addition to military reforms, Severus reorganized the Roman military to enhance its efficiency and effectiveness. He increased soldiers' pay, expanded the size of the legions, and strengthened the Praetorian Guard. Infrastructure Projects Severus sponsored various infrastructure projects, including the construction and repair of roads, bridges, and aqueducts. These projects aim to improve transportation and communication throughout the empire. Public Works The emperor invested in public works projects to enhance the living conditions in Rome and other major cities. This included the construction of public buildings and facilities for the benefit of the population. Expansion of Citizenship Severus extended Roman citizenship to certain provincials, contributing to a more inclusive and integrated empire. This policy aimed to foster loyalty among diverse populations within the Roman world. Dynastic Succession Laws Severus enacted laws to address issues of imperial succession. His policies influenced the way emperors were succeeded, and they contributed to the establishment of dynastic rule within the Severan family. Septimio Severus played a significant role in shaping the concept of dynastic succession within the Roman Empire. His approach to the matter had lasting implications for the nature of Roman imperial rule. Here are key points about Severus's dynastic succession. Dynastic Ambitions Septimio Severus was the first Roman emperor to establish a dynasty explicitly based on bloodline succession. He aimed to ensure the continuation of power within his family. Succession of Sons Severus had two sons, Caracalla, born Lucius Septimios Bassianus, and Geta, Publius Septimios Geta. His intention was for both sons to succeed him jointly as co-emperors, thereby establishing a Severan dynasty. Joint rule of Caracalla and Geta. After Severus's death in 211 AD, Caracalla and Geta initially ruled together. However, their relationship quickly deteriorated into a bitter rivalry, leading to a power struggle between the two brothers. Conflict and Geta's Assassination The conflict between Caracalla and Geta escalated, resulting in Geta's assassination in December 211 AD. Caracalla then became the sole ruler of the Roman Empire. Caracalla's reign and further developments Caracalla ruled until his assassination in 217 AD. His death marked the end of the Severan dynasty's direct bloodline succession, as subsequent emperors were not direct descendants of Severus. Legacy of Dynastic Succession Despite the turmoil and conflict surrounding the succession, Severus's establishment of a dynastic principle left a lasting impact on Roman imperial rule. The idea of familial succession gained prominence in subsequent centuries. Julia Domna's Influence Julia Domna, Severus's wife, played a crucial role in the family's political dynamics. After Severus's death, she continued to exert influence during the reigns of her sons and through her connections in the imperial court. Impact on Later Dynasties The Severan dynasty set a precedent for later Roman emperors to establish dynasties based on family connections. Emperors often sought to secure the succession within their family, leading to periods of dynastic rule in Roman history. While Septimio Severus's attempt to establish a dynastic succession encountered challenges and ultimately led to conflict between his sons. The idea of familial succession persisted and influenced the Roman Empire's political landscape in the centuries that followed. Cultural Patronage Severus and his wife, Julia Domna, were known for their patronage of literature, philosophy, and the arts. They supported cultural endeavors, contributing to the intellectual atmosphere of the Severan court. Religious Policies Severus maintained a generally tolerant approach to various religious practices within the empire. While he upheld traditional Roman religious institutions, he did not actively suppress other religious traditions. Severus's governance was marked by a combination of pragmatic reforms aimed at addressing immediate challenges and a recognition of the need for stability within the Roman Empire. 
While his reign saw relative stability, the reforms implemented by Severus also set the stage for subsequent developments in the Roman imperial system. Septimio Severus's religious policies were generally characterized by a pragmatic and tolerant approach, reflecting his desire for stability within the Roman Empire. Here are key points regarding his religious policies. Tolerance of various religions Severus adopted a generally tolerant stance towards various religious practices within the empire. Unlike some previous emperors who engaged in persecution, Severus allowed diverse religious traditions to coexist. Maintenance of traditional Roman religious institutions While displaying tolerance, Severus upheld traditional Roman religious institutions and ceremonies. He recognized the importance of maintaining the religious practices that were deeply ingrained in Roman culture. Recognition of Eastern Religions Severus, who had spent significant time in the eastern provinces and had a Syrian wife, Julia Domna, showed a degree of openness to Eastern religious traditions. This may have influenced his broader religious policies. Support for cults and temples Severus did not actively suppress the worship of various deities, and he supported the construction and maintenance of temples and cults throughout the empire. This approach contributed to his sense of religious pluralism personal involvement in religious activities. As part of his imperial duties, Severus participated in traditional religious ceremonies and rituals. This helped to reinforce his image as a legitimate Roman ruler in the eyes of the people in the traditional religious establishment. Balancing Religious Interests Severus sought to balance the diverse religious interests within the empire. His pragmatic approach likely aimed at preventing religious tensions from escalating and contributing to overall stability. Influence of Julia Domna Julia Domna, Severus's wife, who came from a culturally rich background in the eastern provinces, may have influenced his tolerant stance toward different religious practices. Her presence in the imperial court contributed to a more cosmopolitan atmosphere. It's important to note that while Severus showed tolerance towards various religions, his primary concern was the stability and unity of the empire. His policies reflected a pragmatic approach to governance, acknowledging the diverse religious landscape of the Roman world without actively promoting or suppressing specific beliefs. Dynastic Succession Septimio Severus was the first Roman emperor to establish a dynasty in the Severan line. He was succeeded by his sons Caracalla and Geta, although their relationship was marked by conflict. Death and Legacy Septimio Severus died in Eberacum, modern-day York, England in 211 AD while on a campaign in Britain. His death marked the end of his reign and the beginning of a period of instability. Death of Septimio Severus Septimio Severus died on February 4, 211 AD, in Eberacum, modern-day York, England, while on a military campaign in Britain. His death marked the end of a successful reign characterized by military campaigns, administrative reforms, and efforts to stabilize the Roman Empire. Legacies of Septimio Severus Military Achievements Severus's military successes included campaigns in Parthia, where he secured territorial gains and captured the city of Ctesiphon, and in Britain, where he consolidated Roman control. Administrative Reforms Implemented administrative reforms to address corruption and inefficiencies within the Roman bureaucracy, aiming to improve governance and the overall functioning of the imperial government. Legal Reforms Enacted legal reforms to address issues related to justice and the legal system, emphasizing fairness and impartiality in the administration of justice. Economic Policies Implemented economic policies to stabilize the Roman economy, including measures to control inflation and manage state finances more effectively. Dynastic Rule Established a dynastic principle by aiming to ensure the succession of his sons, Caracalla and Geta. While the attempt led to conflict between the brothers, it set a precedent for later emperors to establish dynastic rule. Expansion of Citizenship Extended Roman citizenship to certain provincials, contributing to a more inclusive and integrated empire. Infrastructure Projects Sponsored various infrastructure projects, including the construction and repair of roads, bridges, and aqueducts, to improve transportation and communication throughout the empire. Public Works Invested in public works projects to enhance living conditions in Rome and other major cities, contributing to the overall well-being of the population. Cultural patronage. Supported literature, philosophy, and the arts, contributing to the intellectual atmosphere of the Severan court. 
Military Reorganization Reorganize the Roman military to enhance its efficiency and effectiveness, including increasing soldiers' pay, expanding the size of the legions, and strengthening the Praetorian Guard. Tolerance and Religion Maintained a generally tolerant approach to various religious practices within the empire, upholding traditional Roman religious institutions while allowing diverse religious traditions to coexist. Legacy of Stability Despite the challenges of dynastic succession and conflict between his sons, Severus left a legacy of relative stability during his reign, particularly considering the internal and external threats faced by the Roman Empire at the time. The legacies of Septimio Severus had a lasting impact on the Roman Empire, influencing subsequent rulers and contributing to the evolving dynamics of governance and imperial rule. Septimio Severus played a significant role in the events that led to the assassination of Emperor Pertinax in 193 AD. Pertinax had a brief and tumultuous reign, and his assassination marked the beginning of a period known as the Year of the Five Emperors. Here's a brief overview. Pertinax's Assassination Pertinax became emperor in January 193 AD following the assassination of Commodus. His attempts to reform the imperial administration and address corruption made him unpopular with certain factions, including the Praetorian Guard. Severus's Military Support Severus, at the time a prominent general stationed in Pannonia, modern-day Hungary, had ambitions for the imperial throne. Learning of the discontent within Rome and the Praetorian Guard, he marched with his legions towards Italy to challenge Pertinax. Praetorian Guard's Betrayal Facing internal unrest and threats from the Praetorian Guard, Pertinax attempted to assert control by reforming the Guard and dismissing certain soldiers. However, this move further fueled the discontent among the Praetorians. Severus's Arrival in Rome Severus and his legions arrived in Rome, and the Praetorian Guard, feeling no loyalty to Pertinax, turned against the Emperor. Pertinax attempted to address the situation through negotiations, but the Praetorians were swayed by promises from Severus. Assassination of Pertinax Faced with the betrayal of the Praetorian Guard, Pertinax was assassinated on March 28, 193 AD, in the Imperial Palace. The Praetorians, under the influence of Severus, played a central role in the plot to remove Pertinax from power. Sale of the Imperial Title After Pertinax's assassination, the Praetorian Guard put the Imperial Title up for auction, and Severus emerged as the highest bidder. This auction reflected the state of chaos and lack of stability in the Roman Empire at the time. Beginning of Severus's reign Following the auction, Severus was proclaimed emperor by the Praetorian Guard. He secured his position by taking swift and decisive action, including purging those who had supported Pertinax. In summary, while Severus did not directly participate in the physical act of assassinating Pertinax, his actions in marching to Rome with his legions and exploiting the discontent within the Praetorian Guard played a crucial role in creating the conditions that led to Pertinax's downfall and subsequent auction of the imperial title. The events marked a turning point in Roman history, leading to Severus's rise to power and the beginning of his own imperial reign. Septimio Severus is remembered as a capable military leader and administrator who sought to strengthen the Roman Empire during a challenging period. His reign marked a transition in Roman imperial governance and set the stage for developments in the later Roman Empire.